out their resources to pick up the pieces and rebuild lives. But relief came from Tennessee. News Channel 5 was there. So all of these children have not had much to eat. In the last Jennifer Krause followed the soldiers at Fort Campbell as they helped the people of Central America put their lives back together. Watch on the wings of eagles tonight at 6 on News Channel 5, your news and information leader. We've had our share of severe weather right here in Middle Tennessee, but nothing thankfully as severe as Hurricane Mitch. The storm caused tremendous devastation in Central America, and now the largest relief effort in the history of the world is underway there. News Channel 5's Jennifer Krause and our photojournalist Mark Martin went down there to for two weeks almost, weren't you, Jennifer, to view this uh, rescue effort. And I know you saw and you heard some very dramatic stories of survival. We really did, Chris. Yeah. We met people who have and had much to eat since the storm. We also met others who were stranded because the only road in and out of their villages had been washed out by the hurricane. Fortunately, though, these people are now getting help, and a lot of it's coming on the wings of eagles. Hurricane Mitch was one of the worst natural disasters to ever hit Central America. The storm hammered the region with such force that when it was over, more than 10,000 people were dead and hundreds of thousands more were homeless. Now, more than a month and a half after Mitch, the people here are still suffering. Hunger is rampant and many are getting sick. This is a disaster on the proportion of a nuclear blast. When the U.S. decided to send help, they decided to send the men and women of the 101st, the Screaming Eagles from Fort Campbell, Kentucky. People are out here dying. We have to take care of them. Somebody does. Now these soldiers are working in El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Guatemala, trying to help these countries get back on their feet. This is really characterized and classified as a heroic operation. Colonel Virgil Packett from Fort Campbell is heading up this massive relief mission. They're calling Joint Task Force Aguila, Spanish for Eagle. I mean, we're bringing a tremendous level of capability in here that, that none of these countries have ever seen before. There are several hundred soldiers here now from Fort Campbell, including helicopter pilots and crews from the 4th and 7th Battalions. The hurricane destroyed many of the roads and bridges in these countries. So in some cases, these helicopters are the only way in and out. Fort Campbell has 10 ships like this here in Central America. They're being used to carry soldiers as well as equipment and supplies from place to place and even between the countries. They're also being used to deliver help to the people who need it. Also here from Fort Campbell are soldiers from the 311th, the 502, the 6th Battalion, and the 86th Combat Support Hospital here to treat the sick and injured and set up clinics in some of the hardest hit areas. I'm expected to do whatever we can to help the, the people out. But perhaps no one wants to be here more than Specialist Hagan Gutierrez, a crew chief with the 7th Battalion. I never thought that we would be down here. Gutierrez was born here in El Salvador and lived here until he was seven. He then moved to the United States and hasn't been back in years, even though he still has family here. Gutierrez says he couldn't believe it when he learned his unit was coming to El Salvador. He was finally going home and getting the chance to help. To deliver food, help rebuild, uh, you know, bridges, whatever we have to do, set up, whatever we have to do to get the people back up on their feet. We're sending two Chinooks and two Blackhawks down all the way to Managua. This is an immense operation involving not just the Army, but all branches of the military. The soldiers have their work cut out for them. The people here didn't have much before Hurricane Mitch, but now they have even less. The goal of this mission is to get things back the way they were before the hurricane hit. It may take a while, but the soldiers will stay and keep on working until the job here is done. And it looks like the Fort Campbell soldiers will be there until the middle of February. And Chris, tomorrow night we'll take you to El Salvador, show you the damage caused by Hurricane Mitch and how the people are dealing there. We'll also show you what the Fort Campbell soldiers are doing to help the people there. And if you're interested, I kept a travel diary during our trip, yeah. and it's posted on our website at newschannel5.com if you're interested in checking it out. Looks like a tremendous effort down there, Jennifer, really that, that you just showed us. I understand there's another Tennessee in Central America checking.